Hope you're all doing as good as I'm doing today. I think physically I'm at like a seven just because I feel more in tune with the muscles than I did yesterday, but I went pretty hard on my legs today. It was pause back squat and pause clean and jerks, and it's my light week, so it's the max amount of volume, and oh boy, are my quads shredded. You would think that when your quads go to shit and start wibble wobbling, that uh, the squat in the clean and jerk would be the hard part but no it's when you get out of the squat and you got to do the split jerk you're just sitting there trying to hold a stable like positioning to launch from and your quads just will not settle and it, it is very uncomfortable but that's what makes you better uh but other than that mentally gonna give it a we can give it an eight because today something cool happened i got a job uh that i actually want um, I've been doing delivery for a while just because it's kind of like a side bag, a side hustle. And I haven't enjoyed it in a long time. I've been doing it for like a year. And it's always just been about the money and just putting in the hours and just trying to make it work even though I didn't need as much money. More money is always like it makes you feel more secure. But it, it just it was dragging me down and my daily life did not feel very good. Um, so I got a, I actually got a job at the gym or I'm, my proper interviews on Monday, but I'm pretty confident about it. Like they, everybody seemed pretty chill about it. Uh, but it's at the gym I work at and like, I know everybody there. It's a great community. Even if it's not like super intensive work, it's, I, I feel like it'll be really enjoyable with the people that I get to work with. And I feel like I could grow a lot in that kind of a setting. So based off that, I thought it'd be cool to talk about, uh, how much work in your daily life is enough? Or how much work do you need to do in order to feel satisfied? Because I think it gets mixed up a lot uh, with people who don't really know what they want to do with their lives or don't know how to fully appreciate their daily lives that they already have. Um, and it, it's, it's hard to tread the line between um, working too much and working the a comfortable amount that makes you happy you know because there's everybody always is i feel like a lot of people think like oh you just got to work 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 and if i put in this many hours every week i'll be happy at the end of the week it'll be fine and i just i hate thinking about that mentality because it really just it takes away from the greatness that comes out of your present day uh happiness you know like you're never gonna live in the future so why would you bank on your future happiness you need to bank on your future or you need to bank on your happiness right now you know like if you're not happy right now in this moment then if you bank on the future and you say oh i'll be happy when i have more money at the end of the week or at the end of the month or when i get a better job you're probably never going to be happy because your standard is just going to keep always being higher than what you're able to achieve you know like i don't go to the gym thinking oh i'll be happy in the gym once i'm able to clean and jerk 400 pounds you know, I'm not able to lift that much. I don't know if I'll be able to lift that much. And I don't know when I'm going to be able to lift that much if it does happen. So why would I worry about it? I'm just going to do the weights that I got programmed today. And if I hit all of them, I'm going to be very happy about that. You know, because I put in the most effort that I could today. I did exactly what I wanted to. I put in the effort I wanted to. And I succeeded. You know, it doesn't have to be a giant landmark to count as success. A lot of people will think that success is just like how much money you make or what kind of a position you have in your company or your job whatever are you leading are you being a manager whatever it doesn't matter just like success comes from whatever makes you happy in your personal life in your daily life so what i have found is that no matter how hard you work uh at a job that you don't give a shit about or that makes you unhappy in your daily life even if you're making enough money you probably won't feel satisfied um so, like, for me, I'm switching over to this gym job. It's less money. I don't know what the pay is, but I know it's going to be less money because I was really good at my delivery job. But I know that I'm going to, like, I'm going to want to wake up and go to that job. You know, it's not about just, like, being a slave to whatever hours I set myself to. It's about going to sleep, dreaming about, man, I can't wait to get in there and see the people I care about. Even if I don't want to work, I get to see those people that I love and I get to hang out with the community that I appreciate. And again, like I just, I have grown to just love the gym, not for the sake of like the ooga booga caveman brain lifting heavy weights, but just like the mental, the positive mental health that it has given me throughout my years of bullshit. 
Uh, and so whenever I'm there, even if I'm not lifting, I just I feel at home. I feel like I got people to bounce on if I need it. I feel like everybody's going to support me. And I don't got to worry about the outside life when I'm in the gym. And so if the gym can solve money issues with the outside life, even better, you know? And so I guess what you might be able to take from this, because it's, again, it's easier said than done. You know, you got to find a job. And, it, you know, it, like, even though it can be easy to find simple jobs, it's pretty hard to find a job that you actually feel uh, both at least financially secure enough to pay your bills and maybe put a little bit into savings, but also um, being able to want to go into that job. You know, again, a lot of servers don't like serving, but the people they work with make it work worth it. You know, their bosses who are hopefully nice make it worth going because it's a community that cares for you and treats you and gives you the means to live. Um, so I don't know. It, it, again, it's I just I feel like I am very lucky. I'm not religious, but I am definitely very blessed in the sense that I got to find a job like this, even if it's a small job. And you know, pe most people wouldn't see it as like a high tier job. And I don't, you know, it's not. But it's a job that will make me happy. And I think that puts it high enough already in its own. You know, it to me, this is it's a it's a job in a league of its own when it can make you genuinely excited to get up in the morning and i'm gonna be working some early ass shifts i know people who wake up at like four in the morning are like churning in their fucking bed being like i don't want to go i can't do it all my like everybody i know who does like med school are just rolling around in their sleep just like i can't do it anymore i need to be a doctor and i'm like yeah no i'm just gonna i'm just gonna do this job but it might not be a full-time solution or a long-term thing but it's something that'll make me happy for a while and if that lasts longer than i wanted that's just a plus you know so i'm gonna take it by the head and just take you know do one step at a time like enjoy the work i do when i'm doing it on that first day i'm gonna be I'm probably gonna be nervous but i love shooting the shit with people so that, that's what matters and just enjoy that first day and then enjoy that second day, but you can't enjoy the second day until you get to the second day. So just enjoy whatever day you're on, you know? Embrace it. You can't push yourself into the future, and you can't force the day to go faster. So if shit doesn't feel good, then either change what you're doing or find different things to latch on to that make it a more positive experience, like how I'm saying that the people in its own make this work worth it. So... What else? I don't know. I just thought it's really important to talk about because just not enough people... I, I think it's actually pretty rare that any people actually enjoy what they're working on, you know? Because it's mainly because there's such a... There's such a big uh, importance placed on... Especially on kids. There's such an importance placed on what you're going to be doing in your future years when you don't even have the prefrontal cortex to figure that shit out for yourself. Like, you got to you got to fail and get to a low point where you feel like you can't succeed in life in order to figure out your shit and succeed later on you know that sucks but you got to hit a low point and able to figure out all right none of what i've done is working so you will get pushed to a point where you either have to change or you will have to change your mindset and it makes you a better person you know it makes experiences in the future that would have been negative positive and that's a great thing. It's a very rare skill to have. I feel like I'm very lucky to have a resemblance of that kind of a skill. I don't know if I'm as good as I may think I am, but that doesn't matter. You know, it's just the happiness behind it. So, I don't know. Maybe try switching it up or just, you know, enjoy the environment you're in. That's what matters, I think. But just, oh, man, I got... <laughs> I got way too deep. Now my brain's all fried and I can't really think about what else to talk about. So I guess I'll just end with that. But, you know, just feel it out day by day. That's what's important. Have a good one.